Hi everyone, it is Sharon from Sharon Sowers. Welcome. I have a fabric haul video for you today. Recently, we had friends come down and visit us from Minnesota. And I just say Minnesota because everyone here in Texas laughs and laughs and laughs whenever we say that. And they're like, we can tell where you're from. Anyway, they came to visit us from Minnesota and we went down to Waco to see the Magnolia Silos, you know, the Chip and Joanna, that, that whole, you know, TV show. And then we went to San Antonio. We wanted to see the Riverwalk and the Alamo. S super awesome time. Highly, highly recommend the Riverwalk. So much fun. And of course, recommend the Alamo. Honestly, I remember the Alamo history a little bit from when we lived in Houston when I was in grade school. And it just brought back just brought back the memories and the story. It was very fun. But as any true sewist, I checked to see if there were any fabric stars in San Antonio, and there was Fabrictopia. Fabrictopia. Yes, I said that right, didn't I? So we went to stop at Fabrictopia, and I have a video for you to show you what we purchased, a fabric haul video to see what we purchased. Be sure to stick around to the end because I also have a little video tour so you can see what it looks like inside the fabric warehouse. And I have a bonus for you. Lori is also going to share her fabric haul from Fabrictopia. Before I get to the fabric haul, let me share with you what I'm wearing. I'm starting to audition my summer and spring tops. It's starting to get really warm here in Texas, which I absolutely love. I am wearing McCall 7976. This is a very simple, very loose fitting. You can see how loose fitting this is. I would go down a size if I sew it again. Well, when I sew it again, because I do really like the shape of it. Out of this lovely lightweight floral cotton from Emma One Sock. Call 7976. The first piece of fabric I bought was three yards of this denim. It's a beautiful blue and it's got some lycra to it. Now, this fabric store, Fabrictopia, is kind of like a warehouse, so it doesn't have labels as to what the content is. So I don't know how heavy this denim is officially, and I don't know how much lycra content is in it. But I'm going to wash it up. I'm hoping it's loosened up just a little bit for me, but I think it's going to make a really great pair of jeans. The pattern I plan on using is this Mimi G pattern. It is 86.55, simplicity. I've shown this little tie front top before, which I absolutely love. And I really like the bell bottom. I'm loving the bell bottom trend this year. So I'm gonna make some bell bottoms out of this denim. That was 6.49 a yard. Now the next piece of fabric I purchased off of their $3 a yard table. And when you look at the video at the end of this video, you will see how much fabric is piled up on that $3 a yard table. Love it. Don't we all love a good bargain? As long as it's good quality fabric. So what I have here is a blue. It's fairly sheer. It almost looks like a, a gauze, but it's not. I don't know what the fiber content is. I would have to do a burn test on it. And I purchased four yards at $3 a yard. And I plan on redoing the tutorial that I have on my website for the white romantic maxi dress. That was published. I did that back in 2011. And it's been one of the highest viewed pages on my blog ever since I published it. Some of us like to read tutorials, some of us like to view tutorials. To film the tutorial for those of you that like to view how to do something versus read, I will link below to that tutorial that is currently on my blog and watch for this to come very soon on my YouTube channel. The next one of my purchases was also from the $3 yard table. I did not pick this one out, my husband picked it out. He was there with us as they drove us. And he really liked this one. He said, oh, Sharon, won't this make a great beach cover up? So we had bought four yards because I don't know exactly what pattern I'm going to use. I may use the tutorial that I have on my blog uh, for a beach cover up. I will link that below if you're interested in seeing that. As you can see, it's fairly sheer. It is not a knit. At first, I thought it was a knit. It'll actually be easier to work with because it's not a knit. It's a very fun summer pattern. $3 a yard, four yards. Now the last piece of fabric that I purchased from the $3 a yard table is a knit. It is very colorful. This just reminds me of spring and summer. A fair amount of stretch, fairly, fairly beefy. I love the fun diagonal. I bought four yards at $3 a yard because I figured I would make a dress. So in terms of patterns for that knit that I just showed you, I am debating between two dresses that are in the 3 2020 Berta Style Magazine. The first one is dress number 106. 106 is a very simple straight 
dress right here. Now this calls for stretch cotton. I believe the knit is stable enough that that could work for that dress. It has a zipper down the front. So debating about that one. The other one that I'm also thinking about is this one with the twist front. Now I'm not real sure about that because it's got a pretty deep V, you know, I'm kind of curvy. I don't know how it would look on me. The last piece of fabric I purchased was $7 a yard and I just could not resist the colors in here. All the rainbow colors. It's a rayon shelly, $7 a yard. I think I bought three or four yards. I don't recall for sure. I'll have to remeasure it. I'm hoping I bought four because my thought was that I would make a maxi dress from it. My original thought was to sew the Vogue 92.53. It's uh, been quite a popular pattern. I've sewed it before. I'll pop a picture up so you can see it. And as I got it home, I started thinking about it. I don't wear the version of the 9253 that I sewed. The other options I might do, the simplicity, what is this, 8546, this one, the long one. It's actually a dress, but I would wear it as a duster. I also think that I would slice it probably about the knee and add a ruffle to it. That's why I'm hoping I bought four yards of this wonderfully fun and happy rainbow print. Doesn't this just make you smile? Okay, let's see what Lori bought. Well, hello everybody, I'm Lori and I'm down here in Texas visiting Sharon and her husband, Brian, and we went to Fabriktopia on our way home from the Riverwalk. I walked in and I found this beautiful um, peacock feathered fabric and it's a knit. And I've been um, sewing t-shirts, so I'm going to make a t-shirt. Normal looking um, denim fabric. I'm going to make a pair of jeans. I love the color pink. And I'm going to make another t-shirt out of this fabric. $6.99. Oh no, it was $3 a yard. So I have um, maybe even enough for a dress. This fabric, actually my friend Sharon really wanted it, but I kind of took it. <laughs> It has numbers on it, and um, I kind of think it looks like something that could be um, kind of sporty, but I don't know what I'm going to do with it. $3 a yard. Other Lycra knit. Um, I just loved these colors, so I bought this, and I have two yards at $3 a yard. Nice um, animal print that was also $3 a yard, and it's kind of a Lycra stretchy knit. Um, and the people who were cutting were very generous when they were cut too. So I could have maybe even three yards here. Then, um, I found this denim that I think was like five ninety nine dollars or six bucks a yard. But years ago, I had a blouse similar to this. So I thought I'd make another one with long sleeves, cuffs, collar on it. Um, as we we're walking out the store, there was a model, um, with this shirt on. And it was cut so that the sleeves were cut of certain things and the body was cut of a certain part of the fabric. I need to hold it up further so you can see it. So anyway, um, I'll just make some type of t-shirt or something like this out of this. So that's it for my trip to Fabriktopia or something like that. <laughs> Well, I hope you enjoyed that video of the fabric that we purchased at Fabriktopia. We had a blast. There's pros and cons to shopping with friends that sew. <laughs> Sometimes they find the fabric that you really want, but that's okay. That's the fun part about shopping with friends. You're more than happy to let them oh, have it so thank they you, can enjoy Sharon. it. <laughs> thank you. So again, we hope you enjoyed that. And let's see if we can convince Lori to do more videos. This is her first one, and I think she did a great job. Yay, Lori. Thank you. So again, I'm Sharon with Sharon Sews. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe so you don't miss future videos. Until next time, happy sewing.